<clears throat> Into the home, that seems... impressive. Anyway, it's time to do this all over again. Don't drive angry. Don't drive angry. I'll just skip through all this stuff this time. Might as well, you know, because chirpiness. I got free bacon today. Uh, pardon me. Yes. Only seven rashers, but bacon is bacon, you know? I don't have any bread, so I can't have bacon butties, but I have bacon. Bacon! Skip, 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 skip. I don't know. There's nothing to be afraid of. It's just a hot skip and a jump. See? When it loads. Skip, 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 skip. But Holmes, skip, 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 skip. Okay, here I go. A hop. That's it. You got Almost it. There. Skip. A skip, skip. A hop. A skip and a jump. Mr. Holmes, good day to you. Yeah. You do not seem surprised, Miss White. Well, I was expecting you. Not for too long, I believe. So please tell me, as it is still unclear, who planned the murder? Was it you? You were wrong, Mr. Holmes. Was I now? It yeah, well, whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. Why is she denying it? And why is she going to take her life? Would she rather die than... I beg you not to do this, Miss White. Don't come any closer. Yeah, whatever. Would she rather die than go to prison? Is that what it's all about? Please remain calm. We can help you. Not one step further. Don't try to stop me. This is it. Don't make a move, Smee. Not a step. My finger's on the trigger. Don't try to stop me, Smee. Oh, not again. This is it. Don't try to stop me this time, Smee. Don't try to stop me this time. Stop this foolishness. Yes. You cannot truly want to die. No, no it's too late. Does. I don't know if she does at all. Right, there we go. Got it that time. Well done, Watson. She was not faking. Miss White, you have no right to take your own life. Yes, she does. She has every right to Dr. take her own Watson? life. Did you just save me? Or worse? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. You're about to finish the case? Yes. And on to the last one. Personality rank impartial. Most people agreed with me. Fair enough. I'm not used to being in the majority. A half moon walk. Yeah. I see. Right. I'm going to make a cup of tea anyway. I'll be right back. Uh, let's see what this one's all about. I just had confirmation that my new mofo is on the way. Awesome sauce. A few more days and I finally have a computer that actually bleeding works. Where are you going, Holmes? Have you been invited somewhere? We have been invited, Watson. We have? Don't you? To the Baker Street Irregulars annual dinner. Ah. They sent us an invitation. It is on the table. A dinner? <laughs> How could those street urchins afford anything like that? I can't understand your interest in them, Holmes. They're dirty. They wouldn't hesitate to steal your wallet. They... Watson, you should be excited. It is a secret dinner. Its location me. changes Eat. every year. Read the menu. Sounds yeah. mouth-watering. They have repeated the... Right. We, the secret police of Baker wallet. Street, invite you, Sherlock Holmes, and Dr. Watson gammy. to our annual dinner. Menu, entree, 
frozen rat head salad. Is, is this a joke? Not at all. Pray continue. Main course. Sow's udder in Danny Nutcracker's way. That sounds oh, nice, actually. Strange, disgusting homes. Hedgehog goulash. Huh? Street turnips in homemade juice. Hodge eggs. And it goes on. Ah, I can hear them on the stairs now. Well, we can't go there. We can't eat that. Why not? Watson, you'll hurt the feelings of those poor children. <laughs> we have to go. Oh, Mr. Holmes. It is fine, Mrs. Hudson. Mr. Holmes. Wiggins, Dr. Watson is getting ready. He will be delighted to join us. Yeah, not what You don't what look we're well, my young man. Them. Is there something wrong? Don't tell me the dinner is cancelled. Yes, it is. Mr. Holmes, it's my brother, Leighton. He's in a prison cell. They say he's killed two men. You have to help us, Mr. Holmes, because I know he didn't do it. Where is he now? That puts some other... From what I've he's heard, prison. they took him to the yard, and they gave him a good beating already. <laughs> you know what they're like. They'll hang him. They won't look any further. Holmes, we have to help him. And forget about the dinner. <laughs> Wiggins, I'll take the case. You're fantastic, Mr. Holmes. I'll be waiting for you at the crime scene. You'll be there, right? Of course I will. It's on Half Moon Street in Whitechapel. Very well. I get the feeling this one's going to be another short one. No! Let's go check my mail first. Let us. Oh, it's L E I, not L A Y. Sensation, exotic method of murder. The arsenal of our present-day criminals may soon be filled with poisonous plants. A young and beautiful woman, in collaboration with her colleagues at Kew Gardens, planned the terrible murder of their director, Mr. Montague Dunn. Only one detective was capable of uncovering the truth behind a tragedy that was initially believed to be a simple heart attack. That detective's name is Sherlock Holmes. What about Sherlock Gnome? Chomsky. Hmm? Will it finally let me wear the suit that I want to wear? Finally? Nope. Fine. I'll stick with this one. A map of London and the surround... Yes, yes, yes. Um... I'm going to go to Half Moon Street first, actually. I always like to inspect the scene before speaking, because that way I can quiz them about things that don't track with what they have said. It's just my methodology. Or perhaps my pathology. What do you think it is, Mark? He's like, I don't care. I'm too busy licking my back, because my back is tasty. It tastes like cat. I'm like, what would you? You're a cat. He's like, exactly. I am a beast. Okay. Solve the crime, investigate the crime, interrogate later. I am impartial. Right, let's go check this out. I know that I get to use my um, imagination in this place because I've seen a commercial. Alright, is there anything down here? Or, um, is this just going to lead me to a dead end? Ah. There is indeed something down there. In that case, let me go back this way a little bit. See if there is anything of interest next to Watson. No. Thought perhaps that would be something I could look at. But apparently not. You, good sir. No, never mind them. Fairy zigzags. Fairy zigzags. Anything there? Oh, locked. Yes. Hmm. Did you see anything? No. Interesting. Locked. Why would it let me look at that door? Well, let me look at this one as well. Locked. Okay. Not so interesting then. Locked. Dysentery at St. Adolphus Orphanage. What else is there? Communication with the spirit world, with denizens of the spirit world. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Right. Let's go and have a goosey gander. 
Night brickwork. What's down there? Out and out. Oh, nothing. Right. Let's have a look here then. <clears throat> Did they even do checks for gunshot residue at this stage? Uh, please, okay, gentlemen, no, leave the scene now. Oh, Mr. Mr. Holmes. Is that you? P. Uh, good evening, uh, Constable... I thought it was 144. Constable Marrow. P. I was here with Inspector Abiline during the Ripper case, Mr. Uh. Holmes, back in 88. But then, this is nothing like that case. With this one, we've got the murderer, the weapon, and the statements, which speak for themselves. They keep referencing course, the Mara, uh, Ripper case. But you know that appearances can sometimes be deceiving. What about the witnesses, then? Uh, you spoke of statements. You have witnesses? Well, I was there, so I gave my own statement. And then there were two other witnesses who said they saw the killer Chapman. Mr. Turner, a gentleman who lives in that flat over there. Mm. And Polly Powell, a flower seller. Who is over at the far side of the street? Okay. Who were the victims? The two men here, both shot. The stab fellow was Brian Facotti, a well known ruffian. The other, Kenneth Butler, a jeweller by trade. One was shot and stabbed. So, Constable Marrow, I should be delighted to hear your testimony. Yes, what I was you standing say? at the north side of Half Moon Street. That was the side that you came from. But you would have been unable to observe this part of the street, where we are standing now. Mm. That is correct. But I saw the two victims slowly enter Half Moon Street, <clears throat> and then shortly after, the fireworks started. A few minutes after that, the fellow Chapman rushed towards me and ran into Half Moon Street. Mm, please continue. Circumstantial I didn't advance. pay attention, but... Suddenly, I heard a woman's cries and police whistles on the other side of Half Moon Street. I rushed over there and I saw the two dead bodies on the ground. When I reached Whitechapel Street, I saw Leighton Chapman. He'd been caught by two police constables. So, you heard... Shots. Uh, what were the fireworks in honour of, uh, Constable? Oh, I see. Well, uh, today is Queen Victoria's birthday, Mr. Holmes. Ah, uh, yes, I appear to have lost track of the days. It is May now, of course. Huh. You didn't hear the shots? Did you hear the shots? I didn't hear any shots. The fireworks were all over the sky. They were so loud I couldn't hear anything else. Hmm, so... The Constable Marrow, what yeah. else caught your attention while you were running through Half Moon Street? I saw nothing but rats. And I took the time to light every corner with my lamp. Okay. Did you happen to look up at Mr. Turner's window when you were on Half Moon Street at that time? Yes, I saw that the window was open, but no one was there. It was dark in the room. Okay, then how did he Constable, see? Constable, your statements have been of great value to me. If he's supposed to have been there. Hello. Shot in the noggin. The bullet struck his head. This man didn't stand a chance. Mm. Side of the head, too. Interesting. This is an ordinary key. I wonder what kind of door it opens. I wonder why he had it in his pocket on its own. No. Plates. Stock object. Piece of wood. A piece of wood that has stuck between the cobblestones. Let us take a closer look. Yeah, I already knew that would be of. Oh. Hmm. This shard of wood is quite new. Okay, what's that then? The handle of a knife, perhaps? He said the other guy had been shivved up a bit as well. <clears throat> he tried to stop the bleeding with his hand. Death mm. was not instant. The bullet penetrated his stomach. A dreadful wound. I thought they said he was stabbed as well. 
Brian Vercotti suffered greatly. Yeah. What a terrible way to die. Indeed. Anything else of interest? What's that? A tattoo from Westgate Prison. Vercotti um. must have done some time there. Mr. Turner first. What do you have to say for yourself? You have to say that Jensen's Good library evening, is now Mr. available? Turner. Uh, yeah. I, I heard Constable Varrow reply to you as Mr. Holmes. Yes. Are you that detective, gentlemen? Yes, I've I heard of you. Uh, and well, I know things. <clears throat> things about this evening. Really? Excellent. Might we hear your story? But first, let's have a look at you. You seem a bit shifty. You do seem a bit shifty indeed. Mm, doesn't want to look at me. Oh! Oh, Crimea Moir, huh? Missing button. Poor. Yeah. So he can't have made it down here quickly. Tell me Could you tell saw. us everything that you may yeah. have seen or heard? Uh, I was already in bed when the fireworks started. A few moments after, I clearly heard two gunshots from outside. Okay. Please continue. Well, I, I quickly got up and I grabbed the lamp from my nightstand quickly. and I rushed towards the window. I looked down and I saw two bodies. And there was a man with a gun who was standing nearby. Okay. Where exactly? Well, near this body. Did he notice you? I don't think so. He rushed towards Whitechapel Street without looking around. <clears throat> well, yeah, he would do, wouldn't he? Two distinctive shots, then. Were the two shots you heard consecutive? Yes, th there was a very short pause between them, and, and, and they sounded different somehow. So it seemed to me weapons. that the second shot was louder than the first. That is an interesting comment. Hmm, two different weapons. Mr. Turner, did you see anyone else in the street? No, I saw no one but that man, the murderer, the fellow they caught. So... Mr. Turner, what were your actions after you stepped up to the window? I was afraid that the man with a gun might return. So I stayed close to the window till I saw the policeman coming in the half moon from Whitechapel. Then I walked out to tell them everything I saw. Okay. You have helped us a great deal, Mr. Turner. Hmm. Hello, Mr. Wiggins. Holmes, did you see my brother at Scotland Yard? Not yet. Is he all right? <sighs> Second one was louder. Two different guns. His brother came and picked up one of them. The other one was hidden by a police officer, perhaps? Possible. How far will it let me walk down this way? Will it let me walk down far? No, it won't. Oh, let me walk down far enough to talk to anybody, which I didn't think it would anyway, so there are only three people I can meet in this Locked. one. Locked. Which is going to be, I'm certain, Turner, Mrs. What's-Her-Face here, and Leighton, Polly Powell. Ooh, alliteration. My cat's called alliteration. Mrs. Well, Powell? Well, one of my cats is called alliteration. What do you want? Uh, my name is Sherlock Holmes. Character model. I'm assisting very, the police very with an the investigation the of the crime no, that took place this evening. The, the, well, the few, I've already well. gave my testimony, but very well. Oh. Could you tell us everything <laughs> that you may have seen or heard? Yes, yes. I was selling my flowers as usual, the and board, then right. the fireworks began in honour of Queen Victoria. I enjoyed those. But then, all of a sudden, a young lad ran out of Half Moon Street and stopped just by me. He had a gun in his hand. 